I would prefer if you did not visit my house. Until it is mine again. Guy wanted to show me my future fortune as Lady Gisborne. And what? He showed you some trinkets? Made you agree to go along with the wedding? You know I have no choice. I promised to marry him when the king returned. Under duress? Yes, under duress. Proving my loyalty to save my life and my father's. A promise made under duress is no promise at all. And what? You think I should just back out and Guy will smile and release me? If he knew I'd betrayed him, if he knew I was the night watchman, he would lash out, and not just at me, at my father. Why do you always do this? What? Use your father as an excuse for doing nothing. Because my father needs me. And you need him. Because without him, you would have to make a choice. Oh, very well, then. I am making a choice. I'm choosing to marry Gisborne. Is that what you want me to say? I will deal with this. How? I will expose him as the liar and the traitor that he is. Then you will not have to marry him. Oh, Robin, please do not make this more difficult than it already is. But you do not love him! He has qualities! What qualities? I believe his feelings for me are genuine. He has wealth and security. What do you mean wealth? You're supposed to be the night watchman. You should steal from Gisborne and give to the poor. Not acquire wealth yourself. Do not tell me what I should be doing, please. Robin. Look at me. Look at me. I will deal with this. Robin, can't you see that you're upsetting Marion? I must leave for Merton. Will you be all right? You have some scheme? The sheriff has a scheme. I think he intends to kill the king in Nottingham. He cannot risk losing the Shire. I must act. Merton is loyal to me and to the king. He will help. And my marriage. I must go through with it. A man must protect his king. A man must fight for his king. If I could protect you and the king, I would. I know. Anyway, I have a plan of my own. What? The Night Watchman? One final fling for something to make me feel more comfortable in my marriage. You are my world. You know that. I'm marrying a man I do not love. There are worse things in heaven and earth. And I am glad and proud that you are my father. My wonderful, honourable father. Barclay Street. Yeah. The physicians. <coughs> Master, all clear. The physician's on his way. Let's see what Pitts has to say about Gisborne's illness. Aye. I was thinking, we spend our lives skulking, hiding in shadows. I've grown used to it. It'd be strange when it's over. Hard to imagine. Well, soon it will be real. Gisborne is exposed. Robin will be restored. Then I will have my lodge, my bond church. Robin! Alan, what are you doing? Me? Ah, I'll live in my lodge. Yeah, you know, servants and that. What about you? Carpentry, I suppose. Wood. There's pits.
I have nothing of value. What was the trick? What trick? You are the physician who treated Guy of Gisborne and Loxley a year ago. You're Robin. What was the trick? There was no trick. I see. So tell me. What illness did he have? What difficult to say. Fever? Contagion? The humour's out of balance? Do not lie. My humours are out of balance. He was very ill. He is lucky to be alive. I do not have time for this. You tell me the truth. You're a peace lover. I have heard. You will not harm me. You think you do Gisborne an innocent favour. You do not. This is a matter of treason. Admit your part now, and when King Richard returns, I will speak for you. I established a quarantine. The servants prepared their master's meals. I took the meals into him. I sat there for an hour at a time, ate the meals myself. Brought out empty dishes. You're a fool. It meant no harm. Sir Guy had business in London. He had business in the Holy Land. He tried to kill the king. I had no idea. Forgive me. What can I do? Master! Soldiers! I will require you to speak in evidence before the king. I really? Do you think I... Uh, yes. Good decision. Torches are on, but there's no one home. Oh, that's not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. Where is she? Maybe she's run away to avoid Marion Gisborne. Not Marion. She's not the running kind. Well, let's come back tomorrow. You can wait. I know where she is. Quick, she's stealing Gisborne's money. Oh, good work. The guy, the night watchman. Open up. There's no escape. Get me an axe. You two outside. Cover the windows in case he jumps. Time to play, Night Watchman. Hey, hey, hey. Mind if I join in? Loxley! Have you heard the news? I'm to marry Marion. I will think about you when I take her to the marriage bed. Get the money! 
got it. Go, go. Good night, gents. Split up. Twos and threes, you know where to meet. Gotcha.